Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. Just gonna use a few of my Shop My Stash products to do a makeup look while we talk about double standards, ageism in the beauty space. This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a minute, kind of inspired by the Sex and the City reboot, and I will get into that in a second. But if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week, all about cruelty-free beauty. If you're into this type of content, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. If I'm talking fast, that's because I have no caffeine tolerance and yet I'm on my second cold brew of the day. So far, what I have on, sunscreen always. I'm wearing the Super Goop Glow Screen. That's why I might look like a little bit glowy, but then I put primer over top once it like sat down for a bit. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It's very good. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use this new one. Well, it's pretty new from Ulma by Sharon C. This is the drugstore version of the Ulma Beauty brand. They sell this at Walmart. This is their Flawless in Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. You guys have been seeing me use this in a lot of videos. I wear Fair Lady T1. Ooh, actually, you know what? I almost forgot. I wanna do some reverse foundation today, so I'm gonna do things a bit backwards and then do foundation on top. All the products will be linked down below since I don't know how much I'm gonna be like talking about the individual products. Also, when you do reverse foundation, you just have to trust the process. So I'm gonna warn you now, it is gonna look better. No, it's gonna look worse before it looks better, but just hang in there. Okay, so as you guys may or may not know, they are currently shooting the reboot for Sex and the City, which has been kind of fun because they're filming it here in New York. And I keep hoping that I'm going to stumble upon it and like get to see it filming live. It hasn't happened yet. I'm crossing my fingers, though I don't know how much longer they're gonna be filming because it's just like a limited series. Like it's only a few episodes. But there is this viral photo that was going around a couple weeks ago. And this has been like on my list to talk about. And it was a photo of Sarah Jessica Parker, who plays Carrie Bradshaw. And she was just like at lunch with Andy Cohen. And this photo has gone viral because she has gray hair. Oh, there's Tilly, she's watching pigeons. But there have been so many articles. So I took notes over here. Let me pull up my computer. I was like looking through different articles. I'm gonna read you some of these titles while I sit here with stripes on my face. Sarah Jessica Parker flaunts gray hair as she lunches with famous pal. Sarah Jessica Parker's gray hair and age became the talk of the town as fans wondered why she looked so elderly. Sarah Jessica Parker, 56, okay, <laughs> continues to proudly show off her gray hair while dining with pal Andy Cohen as she enjoys downtime from filming Sex and the City reboot. How old is Sarah Jessica Parker? Fans can't get over viral images of gray-haired actress. You guys, these are just a few of the many, many articles. And the whole time I've been sitting here like, why is this, why is this newsworthy? Am I missing something? Because the photo, I'm going to pop it up. She's having lunch with Andy Cohen, who is also like her same age, who also has gray hair. I'm like, where are the dozens of articles about Andy Cohen's gray hair? Okay, editing Kelly here with a Snapchat filter on that matches my wallpaper. I wanted to reiterate something because I don't know that I articulated it as well as I intended to in the video that I do think it's so beautiful and important to see a huge celebrity like Sarah Jessica Parker wearing her natural gray hair in the reboot of such an iconic television show. Like I don't want to downplay that because I hope that this actually I mean, I hope this conversation encourages more women or allows more women to feel comfortable with it. My intent for this video is more so to kind of highlight the double standards, the unrealistic expectations. So I felt it was important for me to pop this in because I want to make sure that that's clear that I still think it's amazing, but there's like a bigger conversation here. Okay, I'm going to take the foundation now and apply a little bit over top. What I wrote in my notes, I'm laughing at myself because this sounds like the voiceover that Carrie Bradshaw would say in Sex and the City, I wrote, when did existing turn into making a statement? And that's the weirdest part. Like she's just getting lunch. She's not necessarily like these articles are like, she proudly flaunts her gray hair, continues to rock her gray hair. Like, like the fact that she is just existing as an older woman, like it's sad that that has to be a statement that that is newsworthy. 
and that there's such a double standard because in the exact same photo, Andy Cohen is like three years younger than her, also with gray hair, also looking his age, and there's not, the, he's not even mentioned in the article aside from like they're having lunch together. And it just brings up such a double standard for male and female beauty standards because as women age, well, first of all, I'll get into it, but I feel like you can't win. You either are expected to get work done and then you are judged for getting work done or you don't get work done. And then there's these articles like, wow, she wears gray hair, how brave. But for aging men, there really aren't any beauty standards. There's not much that they're expected to do. And instead we start referring to them as like a silver fox. Like, oh, the gray hair looks great on them. Whereas women are often expected to dye their hair and then if they don't it's newsworthy and even in a lot of the photos that i've seen with sarah jessica parker and other cast members from the show i have just read the nastiest comments about their appearance their age but at the same time i can't help but wonder had they gotten a ton of work done and it was noticeable and they dyed their hair and just tried to maintain a youthful appearance, I still think there would be mean comments. I think it would say like, oh, they've had so much work done, like truly they can't win. And it makes me so sad that the conversation is about the way that they look and not the show. Maybe some changes the show is making, maybe like the direction of the show, I don't know. But no, just about the way that they look. And I think that kind of opens another conversation, especially here in the beauty space, that mature women, older women are so rarely represented in beauty advertising, beauty campaigns. And when they are, the campaigns are usually focused on anti-aging. And what I wrote in my notes, I'm looking, my, I have like my computer sitting over there, was that I couldn't really find a single article about male actors and their age. Like if there was a reboot of a show that had all male leads, I highly doubt that we would see dozens and dozens of like headlines about their age and how they look. The conversation would just be about their work on the show. And even the one article it said, like actually most of the articles said her age. It was like Sarah Jessica Parker, 56. And I'm like, that's relevant how like in any other context would you be like Kanye West 44 releases new album like no okay look how big my pan is on this highlighter also when I do chatty get ready with me sometimes I feel like I get so into the topic that later I look at my makeup and I'm like this looks really bad and this might be one of those days <laughs> also I had like a rash, I don't know if it was like a heat rash or what it was, on my neck for a few days there. And so I wasn't really like taking my makeup down my neck because I didn't want to irritate it. But, so for the last few days, my face has not matched my neck, but I've just had to go with it. But I just think this whole conversation kind of highlights another layer of unattainable beauty standards. I'm, you can tell I'm still new here because when I hear honks, I'm still like, wait, what, what? Whereas when I'm like walking around with my roommate, she'll hear it and she'll just like keep walking like she didn't even hear it. And I'm like, what's going on? But truly, this is just another layer of unattainable beauty standards that are expected of women and expected to age gracefully. And like, what does that even mean? And I'll be really interested to read the comments on this video, especially hearing uh, your experience because you know I'm in my late 20s I would say I am pretty represented in media campaigns I would say most like makeup advertisements are people around my age but I have had so many comments from subscribers saying that they don't feel represented okay I did my brows a bit let's do eyes oops I'm gonna use the Sigma Rosie palette even though it's totally not gonna match with this like mustardy headband once I do the pink so I might need to take this headband out but I want to do something very simple today. So I'm just going to start off with the shade Primrose and dust this all through my crease. I'm going to take a little bit more of that and like kind of go in the outer corner, just a touch. And then what I'm going to do 
I'm going to take a bit of both of, oh, a bit of these two shimmers and just tap them on with my finger. Oh no, wait, no, what I'm gonna do. Take this first. This is one of the Sigma eyeshadow sticks. This is in the shade, I don't know, cause I've had it for so long and the shade name has worn off. I think this is bubbly. It's like one of the gold ones. And I'm gonna apply this to the first part of the lid and then use the shade Flutter, which is kind of a duo curl and put that over top. But going back, the rare occasions that you do see older women represented in advertising campaigns, it's 99% of the time it's like anti-aging products. Like it's rarely just a makeup campaign about wearing makeup at any age. And then getting a little bit of this sparkly shade, I'm gonna top it. But also when you do see older women represented, it's usually in like very minimal makeup, makeup that is deemed as like mature or appropriate for mature women. When in reality, you can wear any eyeshadow color, any lip color, any color at any age. Okay, this is cute. So I've been using this palette as my mirror to get ready because I don't really have a great place to put a mirror in front of me, but I'm gonna take the shade Fearless, which is just a dark brown. This is the Sigma, no, this is the Persona Identity Palette. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of that dark brown tap most fit off and then try to smudge that into the lash line on the outer corner just so we get some depth. But I actually did a video sometime last year about the beauty industry and how pretty much every single major parent company is owned by men. Uh, the CEOs, all of the top like decision makers are all men, even though their products are predominantly marketed at women. And I will leave that link down below. Okay, wait, while I'm doing my mascara, you guys, if you watched my favorites video, if you didn't, I'll link it down below but I talked in that video about how lately I've been kind of changing my mascara placement depending on the look. So for today's look, I'm gonna mostly coat the outer part of the eyelashes and that's gonna kind of elongate the eye in a similar way that you could get if you did a half lash. See, ta-da, this is the Essence Lash Princess, the new version though, the curl and volume. Okay, I'm looking a little shiny. I think it's the sunscreen, like the glowy sunscreen. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kosas Cloud Powder and just tap that right in here. And you can see how beautiful and perfecting this powder is. It's just so good. Since this look is so simple, let's do a little bit of Koki Warm Nude topped with the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Smirk which will pair really well with this eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic today. I've been having a lot of fun doing like chit chat get ready with me. So let me know any other topics you'd like me to discuss in a chit chat get ready with me. Also, I'm so interested to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.